Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am making my way back from the base where I have stocked up on materials. You'll notice I am handcrafting 50 different pumps, or well, 50 pumps from um, my inventory. I got some engines while I was there. I stocked up on a few more beacons as well. I think we'll change this back down to 10. I got a few more because the train doesn't have quite a lot and the stack size on these is very, very low. So, um, it's it's okay i noticed that there were like 48 beacons around the large um the refinery alone so those will go toward that and then we can also grab some more from the train for the other uh assemblers making the other oil products but i'm hoping we can get this area finished today that would be kind of a good thing hopefully it'll work fairly well and we'll get things organized to our proclivities whoa where are you going no, 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 no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, stop. Train. Stop. No. <laughs> I put it on stations and I was like, okay, we're going to A. And then somehow I must have flipped it back around because we ended up not going to A just then. We were going back to the base. So I wonder where this train is. This one that is unhappy. Oh, it's the green station. Green, green circuit station. I should put some repair packs in the system. I don't even know if I have them being made because we just... We really don't need them for a lot of things. Actually, let's just take this train all the way back uh, to our refinery so that we can get stuff going out from there. I think we'll start building the train stations from the refinery and then kind of go back. This loop here is just for this particular train to turn around. Uh, so we'll be removing that shortly. But let's get some of this stuff placed down. There we go. All the things, all the stuff and all the modules. Good, good, good. Very nice. Do these not have... I guess they don't. All right. Let's get some more modules. And I forgot to count how many modules we needed. So we may be short anyway. That, oops, that's not ideal. I'm just messing with myself there. Let's go and uh, put these guys on. Bots, please. Yo, thank you. Nope. Right. Of course, I don't know if we'll actually need all of these or not. Probably not. Somebody pointed out that I have level one speed modules in the green circuit uh, beacons, these guys. However, I just checked on it before I came here and it is actually limited by robots. Uh, we don't have enough robots bringing enough stuff and so therefore the machine can't run continuously anyway because there's not enough production. Looks like we're very short on copper cable. What's going on with that? We might need more trains there. Let's see find the copper cable making stuff that's up here this is content Ooh, we got a train jam hello this is definitely not ideal hmm what happened here why are these things not going okay this is not a separate block from that so that's why that one didn't go but why is this not is there no chain signal up here? No, there's not. It's just a regular rail signal. I don't see another chain signal. This is very unfortunate. You know what? That train jam is going to have to wait for another time because I, um, yeah, this, or we should have another signal here. That would help as well. Like if we put one here, that would help. And then this one up here. I can't believe there's no chain signal there. That's really weird because there should be a chain signal always before a crossing. So we should remove this signal here. Let me just move this regular signal. Yeah, that's an oversight on my part. Darn, I think, and that might even be part of the blueprint and that would be extra not good. Okay, let's put that there instead and have that re be replaced when we walk up there. Anyway, um, yeah, that's. Uh, I I'm over here though because we're miles and miles away. I really don't want to go all the way. Is it here? I think it's around here or no here? Pro no, up there, up there. Um, yeah, that's a long way. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna ignore it. It'll be fine. No worries at all. Where are we getting this oil from? Okay, solid fuel extraction. We decided to take this oil field down here. Looks like it. I wonder if we should make a branch line of the train or just have one going this way. Um, or we could diagonally take it this way, maybe like that. That's another option. Try to go 
around these iron patches. They're not very big, um, so we might not have to worry about them at all. 452 million, hello. Greetings, <laughs> greetings stuff. We're just like wilting over the excitement here. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely something that is um, on my mind. Let's go and pick up some more beacons from the train. Of course, now I say that, I'm like, oh my god, I'm worried about all those things. Are they going to be better? I also need to put out radars because we don't have enough around here. I don't want to get those made. Like one here. And all right. So this is where we're having our corner turning. We need to definitely get this organized. Okay. This one goes here. One, two. Okay. And then we'll have this one go down a bit. One, two. Okay. So I think that should work fairly well. Like this way and this way. We just got to check that the pipe direction is correct in all the, all of these guys here. See, those are, yep, in and out. Very nice. Okay, great. You can also place down all of these guys. Very nice indeed. Okay, so here we have uh, heavy oil coming in. So I want to create that. We got our bars flipped again. I always wonder how that works. It's like I never consciously hit X because I don't like flipping my bars at all, but yet they seem to get flipped all the time. Uh, it's very strange. But anyway, it should be okay. Now then, I have forgotten, of course, to add the thingy-majingy, which is not ideal. All right, take them up. Take them up and take these guys out of the picture as well. They're just too close. We need this. Yes, there we go. And then we can put down these guys. Now then, this one will go here. Um, here, I think. There we are. Nice. Um, let's get our electrical poles. This one is going to be coming out this way. I think we can add a... A pump here, which I have put over here. Mm-hmm. Count this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is going to be the corner. So, yeah, we need one here, there. And I think I'll add one here as well. Just to make sure that we're not quite breaking our rules here. Well, not breaking the rules exactly, but getting outside our plans. Okay, so uh, we do not need... Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, dear. I forgot. Water. <laughs> whoops. Slight whoops. Um, there, is a, there is a pond here. That's good. There's one here. Um, oh, actually, we don't need it for this. Only for the cracking. So we should be just fine. Uh, this is not an emergency. I have failed to think about this as not an emergency, so it's okay. All right, I want to grab a set of this blueprint again from over here. This is the best one that we have, actually. It's actually pump to pump, so there we go. Take that. Where am I? There I am. I'm like, oh, hello. Where did I go? Uh, and we'll take, uh, we don't even need this. We really don't. All uh, right. We're going to take our offshore pump, which is somewhere in here. I saw it earlier. There it is. It's always in a place where I always don't expect it to be. One, two, three. Oopsies. Six, seven, eight. I think that should be fine. Let's put one here.
Now, the interesting part of this entire thing is that it doesn't really matter if we have two lines going across the plains and all this. Remember I said last time that we might, oh yeah, we might have two pipes going for each type of oil. But the critical thing is that this thing only has one output for each of them. So I'm strongly suspecting that we will not even need half of these beacons, let alone all of them. So those all might get recycled in time. <clears throat> but anyway, here we have, um, this is our liquid setup, heavy oil to light. We have the productivity modules. I think this is actually good to go. This is pretty much done. Uh, and then all we're going to do is just make sure that we get, this is light oil coming back up. And that is connecting up into this pipe, which is going to go left. And I think we should be, we should be good for this. Um, how much light oil is coming out of this process here? 600. So, uh, we might consider having a second light oil pipe since this does have the most light oil coming out. Um, but we'll have to see. I think we're just going to see if this works or not and how much it needs to work, that kind of thing. So not terribly worried about any of it. Um, right now, the thing that we do need to do is make sure that this thing has plenty of oil. We need 2000 crude oil um, every 100 seconds or whatever it is with two, wow, 2,310% crafting speed. Uh-huh. Or plus 2,800 or 310%. Um, yeah. So we need to get that moved into, I think we can go ahead and do the direct feed with this, with the pumps, uh, as was suggested from a couple of people. And we'll get this going like this. And I th I'll try to build the train stops to align with this, but I don't know how that's going to go. We will see. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. <laughs> this is literally perfect. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, or we could build it downward. Actually, building it downward would be wood. Well, we could have the train go around. This is not a problem. Or we could be aligning over there. It's not a, not an issue. Uh, okay. I'm wondering if we should build like huge amounts of these uh, tanks to store a lot of oil um, or just have a lot of trains coming for throughput. Hmm. We could do that. Just have an extra set of storage tanks each here going like... This looks absolutely stupid, but I guess this is what is needed ish. Okay, so that will be fine up there. Um, I can do that as well. There we go. Okay, and this can also go this way. I think that'll be fine. Um, and I think we can just get these guys aligned somehow with a train. Let's see how we can do that. We need more track. I think I'll probably have the train come up around this way. Have that maybe parking here and then come around. We don't even need a parking lot with this many things going on here. We could have even additional uh, cars on this train too to even feed more into these pipes. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we can do with this because we could maybe have several train cars. Let's get the station thingy-majingy. 
Okay, so one, two, three. That's four cars already loading on. That might be okay. We could extend it to make it as long as possible, actually. If we do something like this kind of thing. And then this here. Another one there, more here. And see how that gives us a train station. This is interesting. I've never built a train station quite like this before. Okay, so the, the first car is the engine. That might be two more if we do that that way. Just want to make sure there's at least one pump for each car. So let's go ahead and put down this, this train, this hypothetical train here. Let's get our tanks. One, two, three, four. And I need more. Let's go to the train and I don't know if I put them in here or not. I think I did. Possibly. Aha, I do have some. We may have to go back to the base and get these things. I don't know what they cost to make. Oh, we can just make these out of here. Nice. All right, cool. Um, oh, wait. And we have, didn't we have steel over here? Did we do, do this crazy steel setup this way at some point? I think we did. We need this to be here too. Oh, that's right. We did. <laughs> I made steel over here. Like ton of it. <laughs> this is so strange. Oh my goodness. What an odd thing to do. Um, yeah, that's funny. It's really funny. And a few iron plates as well. Right. I completely forgot about this. Uh-huh. Yep. Very, very... You know what? I could actually fill it with more stuff. I don't actually have any fuel, though, do I? Not really. I could chop down a few trees, I suppose. Let me take up these um, thingy-majingies. There we go. Did I get that piece of iron? Oh my gosh. No, I didn't. Oh, I have, uh, I have this. Yay, take it. Fun. But uh, thank goodness for nanobots, because they're our fuel gathering system for now. There we are. How nice. <laughs> How nice indeed. Okay, here. Take this. Take this. Make us some stuff, please. Yep. Very nice. Yay. You can even make some more cars. More fluid wagons, for goodness sake. Alright, let them go for a while. This is just silliness, but anyway, it's fun. So we will go ahead and get this going. One thing that's nice is that these stations will never need more stuff. Which is a good thing. Okay. Now the important thing about wagons, and this is a question asked on the forums all the time, uh, they cannot be on a curve to uh, load up. Very important not to put them on a curve. So don't do that. So we have how many wagons here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That sounds good. Put that over there. And then we can probably figure out how many to add afterward. Let's see. Just make this a little bit farther. So we don't run into any issues with um, getting this stuff mixed in with the tracks. Because that would not be good. No, no. Don't want to get um, mess up with the blueprints and stuff. Is this? Oh yeah, it's going underneath this. So that's just fine. Good. Okay, rails in please. Where are we going with this? Rails in. Oh, look at this. Totally misses this. Perfect. Looking very nice and good. I need to probably get another thing of rails or two. Not too many. Now then, I want to take signals and figure out how long I need this train. So this is going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. We need two more cars on the end of that. So like here, maybe. You know what I should do is I should take this train and measure it. I have a little bit of wood. That'll be good. All right, train, let's go back up, back up. Oh my God, it's dark. 
Okay, before we get to this, I need to I need it to be slightly lighter out here because nobody's going to be able to see if I don't. Besides, refineries are really cool at night. They look cool. Um, don't don't get me wrong. They're highly polluting and generally terrible. Um, but <laughs> they they look really cool at night. They look like kind of a this sort of steampunk city. Uh, if you see them from a distance at night, there's a refinery in uh, in Cheyenne, of course. And uh, I've lived in other places uh, like around Houston, where there are tons and tons and tons of refineries. So, okay, so that is approximately where we need to be with this. So, okay, that's pretty, pretty much on the mark. Let's go and uh, get the next signal on the tail end of this guy. I think that this is only going to hold three trains. So if we back up there, have that there, and we put another signal here. For example, let's see about the next one. Can we hold the extra train? We'll see. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, yes, we can. Hello. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. We can hold four trains on this loop. I like this idea. We don't actually need too much more uh, stuff for this. This is a good thing. Okay, I'm going to get some substations put down here because they're kind of useful. I'm really glad that the devs changed substations to have a much smaller hitbox that always drove me absolutely crazy um when you're <laughs> before they made that change it was like oh my god no so now it's fixed and life is clearly better right so this is going to be called um solid fuel what do we have one called solid fuel Maybe we call it SF1 pickup solid fuel uh, refinery oil drop off. That's I think what we're going to call it. It's a very long name, but I think that works. Now then, train, you're going to work this for us. Let's get the color proper here. So we're going to add you to, you know, what? we're not going to add you to anything. It's, I think it's easier to find it without that on the train menu. We're right now going to take off all of these bits since we don't need them and put in the proper out thing. Very nice. Okay, rails out. There we go. Uh, and I will put, of course, another signal at the head of this thing so that trains can get out of here. And I think we're we're pretty good with this. Very nice. So we'll sit that train there for a bit. And we will move onward. Anything else we need here? I think we're pretty good to go. But we're going to need to have some other stuff going on. Let's see, light oil to solid fuel. Yep, this guy is going to need a train. Now we have a... F oh, I forgot to put these beacons down here. Oh dear, look at that. Wow. I completely forgot about that. Goodness. All right, where do we put this thingy majingy? Like here? That should be okay. Now how do we want this to run? There are a few solutions that we could do with this. We have two places making solid fuel and we have one place needing the solid fuel to turn it into rocket fuel. We could take trains to get it there. Two trains uh, on single tracks or we could use the main lines in part of this. Uh, which is not a long journey on the main lines. I'm almost tempted just to use double-headed trains for this, but then we wouldn't have a whole lot of, uh, of whatchamacallit, throughput necessarily with this. But I don't know how much throughput we really need. I think that rocket fuel is not going to be a thing like green circuits where we make tons and tons and tons of it. Hmm... I'm thinking that single 
Yeah, single line trains. It's a short, short distance. We really don't need more than one of them. Though we could always expand it to have two tracks on each one, I suppose, if it was necessary. But maybe that would be the best thing, is just to unload straight into the factory with um, trains like that. Maybe we'll have each train will go up to a side and then the output will come off the back end there. Maybe that would be the best thing for this. Because I do feel like doing direct unloading is going to be beneficial for this. We really don't need a robo network for this at all. Um, let's see, how is this arranged? Yeah, we could do that. We could do the two side thing, you know, using this part of it and maybe even just the whole side for this. And then the whole back end could be for unloading. Um, yeah, I think that would work pretty well. Okay. I think that that's a good idea. Let's see. This guy unloads off of this side here. So we'll have to make the train station on. No, it doesn't. Oh, it unloads off the top. Okay. That's fine. That is more than fine, actually. Let's uh, just get this going off like here. And then we'll have our loaders. Express mini loaders. Um, let's see. We need a chest. Let's take a steel chest. So we're going to have to have loader, chest, loader, loader. We might have to move this up and down depending on... These things are so dumb. Okay. Um, depending on the train tracks. Let's see if we can put train tracks here. There we go. Okay, it, it does actually work uh, to put in these things. Of course, we, we need to see where our train is going to be. Do we want to have more than two cars of this stuff? I just don't feel like we're going to need that kind of throughput. Honestly, I don't feel like we're going to get that much from the refinery. I could be wrong. Uh, I could be very wrong. You never can tell. But let's plan. I don't know if we should have two cars or four. Let's plan for four cars. This is about centered-ish. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let's get our engine just here. We need our four cargo wagons. Two, three, four. These are going to be solid fuel, which we want to pick here and then say fill all. There we are. And then paste them across. Okay, that works for me. Now we'll just do color. Oh, I have no idea. 55 maybe. Ooh, brown. Cool. I like that. That was neat getting find, finding a brown. Um, but I think the color is off a little bit, like 110 maybe. A little bit later. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. I think that's about right. Okay, let's paste this. We're going to call this uh, LO to SF pickup. Okay, light oil to solid fuel pickup. We have copied the contents of all those guys. So now we can... Just copy this arrangement there. Oopsies. Take the beacon out. Oh, those don't have uh, modules. That's unfortunate. And then these guys, probably we're going to have one. Two, three, four. We'll just have four um, loady thingy majingies. Oh dear, that was wrong. It was wrong. There we are. Just do fours like this. Um, this one will go a little bit higher so that we can get the loader out from this. Okay, that shows it's going up and the base is here. That's fine, good. Loader thingy majingies. There we go. Okay, that looks okay. I think we'll just copy this section here. One, two, three. And here, one, two, three. Oh, 
There we go. And then we can just go upward with these guys. Okay, there it is. Nice. One, two, three. And making the corners. Okay, nice. Looks good. Okay, now then, we now also have an opportunity here to make solid fuel for stuff. Now I'm wondering if I should have that, probably we need to have some come off of here, uh, for here. We can make it at each of the uh, areas. Just put a little chest here and have a feeding thing. You know what? We don't even need a chest. We can just have one inserter doing this. It's not a problem at all. Let's use a substation. Some of these. There we are. Works nicely. Uh, and that one will get fueled by that. And we will think about, let's see, getting this one to go. But I've just looked at the time and I think it's probably time to end the episode. We have a lot more work to do, but we've made very good progress. I'm quite happy with this layout here of stuff. We're just going to have to monitor to see if we need more stuff. It's really strange to me that this assembler has all these inputs when this recipe has zero inputs other than uh, liquid. So it's weird to me that they have these belts, which you cannot use this area for anything else. We've discovered this. We You can't use it for inserters along the edge here like this. You can't take stuff out, nor can you use loaders out. So I'm not sure why uh, that is that way, but I hope that uh, maybe the developer will, uh, will kind of change that per recipe or something so we get a better um, usage of these machines. I'd rather actually not have <clears throat> any of these loaded inputs or outputs and just be able to choose for um, ourselves how we do that. But in any case, I think we've made very, very excellent progress today. I can't wait to start this machine up. This is going to be fabulous. We're just going to get the oil. Well, we do need to build that as well. The oil, uh, whatchamacallit, over here, solid fuel extraction. And hopefully we have enough pump jacks. I don't think we will, but uh, it'll be fun connecting it all up and uh, hopefully getting some oil out and feeding this vast machine. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.